I'm sure you've all caught your L's. Did anyone catch an L today? I did. Loads of L's were caught with a cactus. Oh, sorry, the uh, the Travis Scott Nike Air Max 270 Cactus Trail Run, right? Is that what they're called altogether? Um, loads of L's, man. Today, I ended up waking up too uh, late for it anyway. I woke up at like fucking, what, 8.30 or some shit, so I missed the sneaker app drop. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get anything from the raffles. I haven't checked my email, but I checked, the, no, I checked it in the morning. I didn't get anything, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have anything. So that's a complete L, but of all the hype shoes that come out, you know, especially from the Travis collection, I've not really been a fan of some of the stuff he's put out, but this is easily my the my favorite. And I think at the time when it dropped, it, it was probably meant to drop a bit after a couple of maybe months after the jewel. No, a couple of, or maybe it was meant to drop before the dunk. So a part of me was like, you know what, I'm actually gonna be able to get this shoe because I think everyone was hyped to the dunk, but then it got scrapped, it got pushed back, and then they ended up uh, releasing it much later. And I think that might have added to the hype. I'm not too sure. Again, I'm only speaking it from the outside. I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong, but I think that added to the kind of allure of it. And now we're in a place where, you know, essentially, you know, you're never going to get a pair, um, unfortunately. But um, what I do like, actually, the website. They've made a really cool website that kind of reminds me. Do you know back in the day when they used to have those... um, we used to have those websites that you'd get, well, I don't know, were they kind of GeoCities, sort of like Windows 10, Windows 98 sort of style websites that you could sometimes find some crazy archive collection of like champion reverse sweep, reverse weave sweats or like this backlog of like, uh, you know, New Balance shoes or it was like a website that had like an entire uh, catalog of like archive Caterpillar boots or some shit. There was these websites I remember during the time I used to buy loads of vintage shoes on eBay. There was these weird websites that popped up. You'll find they were basically mum and pop shops and they basically put all their inventory up online sometimes or a catalog and you could call them, and, you know, and get the stuff uh, the delivered to you or mail ordered to you at the time that was referred to and i think they've kind of taken a bit of, of an inspiration behind it right the nike um what which is the travis scott team probably did this i imagine yeah put it together but it looks really cool man i got up here on the screen i think there's a little sound playing on it too you can hear you got a little pop of mick foley here on the, on the banner you've got all these little amazing little trinkets a desert rug that looks fucking cool that you can actually buy i'm assuming later on um, loads of really cool little stuff that I like about it, man. And of course, you've got the sneakers here that was sold out in absolute seconds. RIP to me, RIP to everyone else that didn't get them in the end. But hey, another thing will happen for us, hopefully, down the line. But yeah, man, I quite liked it. I, I, I thought it was really cool. The website's really, really well done. Um, again, I don't think um, anyone should be surprised by this anyway. I think he, his, his, merch, his merch game is really on point when it comes to this sort of stuff. I don't know who does it, who's doing, who's in charge of all this stuff, but they do a really, really good job of it in general, man. Um, I think that's his website. Isn't it? You can see some of the merch pieces are really good, especially especially the fleece. There's like a fleece uh, zip up here that they put it together as well. That was really fucking good, man. It's here, load up. Yeah, the t-shirt is fucking banging. That hoodie is really cool there. The Cactus Trail hoodie. That one. Really, really, really well done. Um, and it's nice because it, it's, it's a kind of level up from the the stuff that he does for his music merch, I guess, which is just, you know, hoodies and t-shirts and long sleeves. At least they've got the, you know, they've got the addition of these little kind of half zip jackets that, you know, uh, windbreakers, sorry, that are maybe a little bit more custom, I guess, cut and sew made, you know, not just ordering kind of cheap blanks. It might just be a cheap blank anyway, but I like the, I like the allure that it probably could be something more than that, right? Um, I'm not sure if those patches are screen printed or embroidered on. Either way, I think they look really cool. Again, good tones on it. Nice little trail um, or hiking kind of color palette there. Maybe you could, you know, ascribe it to maybe some Yeezy influences. I'm not, I wouldn't really say that, but I like it, man. Nice, good short shorts. So, yeah, you can see all of this stuff worn really well with the shoes themselves, isn't it? It's just a shame that the actual lookbook with that dude that does a, that kind of monotone dude that does all the reviews on YouTube is really, really dead, in my opinion. I don't think it works really that, that, that well. And he was, he was a thing a couple of years ago, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit kind of, you know, it's a bit kind of gone, you know, probably past his cell by there to get him to do your stuff, I think. I think it could have easily got somebody else. Maybe somebody more connected with the trail community or the hiking community. There's probably somebody online on Instagram they could have got a hold of that would have done his job really good. Maybe somebody even like a Cameron Haynes. Imagine him. Cameron Haynes probably would have done a pretty good job, innit? Like uh putting this like being the 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 kind of go to person or the the main figure in this sort of uh inspiration of the hiking trail shoe maybe in it even more so than mick foley you get cameron haynes running through the the hill somewhere in the middle of la 
you know, busting a gut, actually running because he runs like a marathon a day. Do you know what I mean? Really kind of legging it in a pair of trail runs. They look fucking awesome. How how good do they look? Um, but unfortunately, we don't have that. We have that guy, you know, sitting on, sitting on some stairs, pulling that weird kind of normal core face he does. But again, what do I know? Oh, that's good. Good juice. But yeah, decent stuff, man. All together. Some nice key rings, good shoes. Of course, the shoes are the best thing in the collection. But I think overall, really, really well done, man. But unfortunately, L's were caught cool all over the gaff. And um, it is what it is. And next time round, we'll get our own thing, I guess. Or maybe not. Who knows?